Hello, this is Kyle Moore with Mech 320 Fixtures and Workflow. Uh, so we did a project where we took a 3D printed roadster with a whole bunch of pieces, as you can see in this picture here, and we combined them into only five pieces uh, while keeping the general aesthetic of the roadster intact, as you can see in this model here. We did this because we're going to be assembling this uh, roadster with a UR robot, and we are also going to be using the eight steps of fixturing, um, which are input, locate, fixture, constrain, operate, unfixture, output, and reset. So let's get started. So here you can see the UR robot that we are using, and you can also see the uh, feeding systems that we have created um, to simulate an automated manufacturing process. Um, so here we are inputting um, the pieces into there um, and locating them so they will slide down uh, to the same position every time um, the wheels are uh, work in progress, but we did end up getting it to work here. Um, and so uh, now that the, we have uh, input those and located them, the robot knows exactly where uh, they are because we have pre-programmed the robot to our specific system here. Um, so it's going to pick them up uh, here. Um, and uh, we have created a little fixture that we have uh, basically just taped down. Um, but it holds the car uh, with these two divots here. And the fixture has uh, basically little pins that fit into there. Um, to keep the car uh, constrained. So to continue on, uh, now it's going to pick up the wheels and uh, we have it to where these wheels will self-locate um, with the, uh, it's almost like a V-shape that it, it gets put into uh, here, you can see. Um, so we uh, put in the, the back wheels first and now we're going to put in the front wheels. And same thing, uh, it is uh, self-centering. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna grab the top piece. Um, same thing with the, uh, the bottom piece. Um, it has already been located and in input. Um, and so we're gonna put it on um, and then it's gonna grab it. So there is the unfixture, the output and then the reset. So you can see there that the uh, the car had fallen apart. Um, we uh, tried to use some uh, double-sided tape, um, but we couldn't uh, couldn't get it to stay in um, with the parameters that we had. But uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching.